lovely is a was a predator hunter. They're not anymore. Um, they associated with Lyo. They made their channel known by making hypnotist Sappho videos, right? Uh, they lived with and defended Zarcarlo, and Zarcarlo is a person, is their roommate that drew snuff porn. They also abused their pet birds, and they pretended to be an Antifa member. This is Zarcarlo, Zarkar by the way. Zarcarlo also doxed and harassed people. And he uh, also, Zarcarlo had this group chat going with this other particular person. Um, and it was used for grooming children, right? Coyote decided to defend, defend Zarcarlo to the death. Just like, just like, Ky just like uh, Lyo's doing with Peaches right now. It's kind of, hmm interesting it's interesting how like you can compare coyote's actions with lyo's actions and they're closely related very interesting uh the sappho shit wasn't known at the time of my first video i made two. Oh, you made two let me make sure i'm on your right i'm on the right video i think i am um I th think I am. Am I on the right video? Is this your first video, uh, Gilded? I think I'm on the right one. But let's watch this. Let's see. Let's see what Gilded has to say. I completely agree, Mr. Furtard. But before we get into the obscenity of your degenerate furry ways, I gotta ask, what's the difference between a pedophile, a Catholic priest, and a furry? Yeah, that's the first one. Okay, thank you. If you guessed nothing at all, you're absolutely correct. There is no difference whatsoever. Furries are scum, and this coyote lovely guy isn't any different. But who is this coyote lovely I hear you people asking? Well, aside from him- Let's hear what Gilded has to say. Him being a mentally unstable degenerate furry from California with a hero complex, he's actually a decent sized YouTuber with nearly 12,000 subs. That makes almost exclusive- I'm side-eyeing the crap out of those 12,000 subs. I, I think he's grown more. I'm Whoever subscribed to Coyote L Lovely, you're suspicious in my eyes. ...tively pedo and zoophile hunting content. This, like many other things to be exposed later in this video, will prove to be quite ironic. However, in order for you to fully understand the totality of Coyote Lovely's hypocrisy, we must first introduce two new characters. Blumeyer, I, I can't pronounce that fucking stupid shit, but we'll just call him Bloom for short. And the ever insufferable intersex crazy person. So I don't even know how to say Blumeyer either. Person that goes by Zerka. Zerkalo, Zerkalo. Why do people pick like the weirdest and most stupid fucking bullshit names for this gay shit? Fuck. Anyway, let's just make this easy on ourselves, and we'll begin with Bloom. No, no. Coyote currently has 11.8 subs. Okay, yeah. I'm side-eyeing the crap out of those 11.8 subs. <laughs> to put it bluntly, Bloom is a well-known pedophile and groomer. This isn't some wild accusation, mind you. This was exposed as early as 2017. Yeah, Bloom, uh, yes. Bloom... The only thing that I know about Bloom is that he for sure, because uh, Toonie is saying Bloom is a, a D-Gen. Bloom had a group chat with Zarkalo, and they would use that group chat to groom minors. With the dropping of DMs that absolutely showcased his knowing and suggestive chatting with a fucking... So, LOL, uh, the DMs read, LOL, I can't stand being around you and your sexiness. Jesus. Fucking okay. Uh then uh Bloom says, How old are you, by the way? And then the person says 16. He then he goes, Yeah, I figured. 
And then uh, the person says, kind of got puberty boner for furries. LOL. How can you tell? Nasty. 16-year-old. This is degenerate shit. This is degenerate, guys. And as much as I'd like to unsee the shit I saw, I have to say that his story, Bloom's story, does not end there. You see, this subhuman piece of scum joined a private chat room where he proceeded to dump piles of furry-inspired lolliporn all over this chat room for everyone therein to see. Screenshots, however, were very archived, and to be 100% honest with you, I ain't putting that fucking disgusting shit in my goddamn video, okay? It's actually pretty damn bad. It's actually horrifying, sir. It it's gross. I believe Gilded. Okay. A link to that archive will be in the description, like, at your own risk. But if you decide to look at it, be ready to bleach your eyes shortly afterwards. Seriously, you can't unsee this shit. So now that we've established that, it is now time to introduce Zarkalo. Editing room here, I guess it's pronounced Zarkarlo, I guess. Oh, Zarkarlo. I don't know. But anyway, for the remainder of- It's Zarkarlo. I think it's like a southern thing. Sarah's sausage in the chat. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for being a member, Sarah. Of this video, I will just refer to it as Z. Dude, that's what they look like. Nasty. Take you on. on the surface, it becomes quite obvious that Z is super fucking weird. I mean, seriously, watch this goddamn shit, okay? See, this is how I make him go up and down. Just pull the wire in and out. And I turn his head this way. Just twist the wire this way. Twist the wire the other way. Oh, hi. Why are you kissing your puppet? Like, what is this? Oh, I like it. Hey, you. What are you looking at? You're like, I'm hungry. Give me some food. Oh, oh, he's attacking me. He's attacking me. Just kidding. Yeah, although that's not really like the worst thing on the planet, it's still kind of weird. It's cringe. However, that's not even half of it. This fucking wacko has also been exposed in some length. There's a somewhat crappy video that goes pretty hard on this psycho and does so with receipts. Many of the accusations, however, aren't really something I think- Zarkarla looks like a mugshot from the Mandela catalog. Oh my god. Would be that big of a deal, but I mean, it's worth watching regardless. It's not a dead box. It's a puppet. It's a puppet puppet box, but it is pretty weird. That's like on the weirdness. That's on the same level of weirdness as Lyo's lion mask. That's fucking creepy as well. Regardless, because the most damaging part, in my opinion, the most damning is the part of the video that absolutely proves that Z and Bloom are fucking buddies. In fact, they made a video in 2020 where they played a game together three years after Bloom was first very publicly exposed. Bloom's actions, which are more prolific than what I'm able to showcase in this single video, does not seem to bother Z in any way whatsoever. And because they are also Freaks. In fact, Z seems to be completely fine with it, which is interesting, really, because Z and Bloom both claim to be anti-pedos, with platforms dedicated to mocking and or hunting pedophiles. Ironic, isn't it? So how are these scummy furtards at all related to this Coyote Lovely character? Well, besides the fact that Coyote still, after all of that, follows Bloom, which in of itself is pretty fucking interesting, given the fact that he claims to be a pedo hunter, he also fucking lives with Z. Yes, they're fucking roommates. He moved from California to Arizona to live with that guy girl it okay so people were like speculating at the time people were speculating whether if coyote lovely and zarka zarkalo were dating or in a relationship and i'm going to say i'm going to go out on a limb here and say they probably most likely were dating why would you move from California to Arizona to live with some random person? Okay. I would only think that the reason why you're living with this person or you're moving another state, you're moving into another state, you're leaving your home state and moving into another state 
is because you're in love. That's why. It thing, whatever. The fucking 12,000 sub self-proclaimed pedo hunter actually lives with someone who is best of buds, both public Hi, Akira. and privately with a well-known pedophile that Coyote has outright refused to ever call out for entire fucking years. Very ironic, isn't it? Almost hypocritical, you might say. Although I should add, it is worth- Okay, Zarkalo is a guy, yes. Noting that Coyote also has a weird thing with fall following 14 and 16 year olds on Twitter too. It's so fucking weird that they're following this many people. Now, Sarcarlo doesn't have a Twitter account anymore. Um, or I can't find them on Twitter. I've tried finding them on Twitter. I can't find them. Um, they've probably yeeted, them, yeeted themselves off the internet because they've been outed as a pedo, right? So uh, the fact that they're following so many 16-year-olds is just, at the time, disgusting, too. Gilded says, to be honest, Leah, this video was really made just to get a ball rolling. No one was really looking into these people much. By the time my second video came out, more info came out. But why ever could that be, you might be thinking. Why would a narcissistic pedo hunter who's friends with a pedo and lives with a pedo sympathizer ever follow minors on Twitter? Probably for the same reason that when Bloom and Z were called out in the same crappy video I referenced earlier that almost no one watched, he, Coyote, came rushing to their defense. Because Coyote Lovely... Uh, this video is bad and you should feel bad. So this is Coyote Lovely just straight up defending Zarkalo. Is as much Zarkalo. Much of a fucking pedo hunter as Chris Chan is a loving and caring son. This shouldn't come. I like that Chris Chan reference. Um, as any surprise to anybody, we're talking about goddamn furries for fuck's sake. Coyote Lovely is a grifter, a pedo defender, and a hypocrite that hangs out in servers with mods that look like this, that post shit like this with a small arm. What is this? That's lolly. What? What? This is like fucking suspicious right here. That's like, that's like Bosch. Oh my God. This is me of dumbass. That's degenerate. That's fucking plebs that spam people with high school level nonsense like this. As if that's at all in any way edgy whatsoever. That is nasty. That's nasty. So that is like, that's the, the said picture that freaking, um, dolphin man likes to like to, uh, post. And Dolphin Man was another person that Lyo Convoy associated with. Basically anybody that calls out idiots like this one that fucking Coyote chose to be pals with that looks like this. All this is is to say that Coyote Lovely is a degenerate and scummy fucking furtard piece of shit that clearly role plays as a pedo hunter to ensure that there are more kids available for him and his friends to fuck. But hey, what the fuck? This video was made two days after I was raided. Oh, well, I get it. I freaking get it. Fuck, if my friends are doing fucked up shit, then yeah, I'm absolutely going to put them on blast for it. That's not okay. Dude, he literally had a conversation with you. That's hilarious. Coyote and I were really fucking at each other's throats, which we've made up for, by the way. Ew! Ew! Oh my God, that is so gross. Oh, so gross, so gross, so gross. Just the fact, just hearing Hypnotist Sappho saying that is just so nasty. It's so freaking nasty, guys. This is degenerate behavior. Again, we're taking we're taking a lesson. We're taking a lesson from Lyo Convoy here, guys. If he wants to play guilt by association tactics with us and his little twink, his little twink secretary wants to do it too, they want to do guilt by association, we'll do it too. Lyo, you were associated with Coyote, Coyote Lovely and the, hearing hypnotist Sappho say that is absolutely fucking disgusting. You're guilty. You are guilty, Lyo Convoy. I'm hopelessly and helplessly in love with her. We've been friends for four years. I've worked with you on things. I've been on your channel. You've been on mine. We have been in the freaking trenches for each other, Coyote. Hey, Carl. It was great going to see the hit movie Cats tonight with you. Of course, Yodi. I loved it when the cats went meow and started doing cat stuff. Yeah, well, I can make you go meow tonight if you know what I mean. 
I want to make you my litter box. In the previous video, this furry really likes kids six months ago on August 5th, 2022, people were deeply upset with my criticizing of Coyote Lovely on the basis of his friendship with two known pedophiles. <laughs> people were upset by this. Not even understandably so. They just went fucking insane. The backlash was hilariously intense, to say the least. This is what happens when you go after a sacred cow. Mm. Uh, Rockstar Studio says, didn't Senate have dolphin zoophilia in the chat as a joke? That was the picture that I, that was shown or featured in Gilded's, uh, in Gilded's earlier video that we watched earlier that Dolphin Man posted. Oh, in all that noise, there was at least one legitimate complaint, and I had to correct that later on in a follow-up video covering Zerkalo. The main one, of course, and the one that really was the only one that was legitimate at all, was that Coyote Lovely no longer lived with Zerkalo at the time that I had uploaded the video. In fact, Coyote Lovely hadn't lived with Zerkalo for entire months before I uploaded the video, so fair enough. I was completely wrong about that. That was news to me. However, the other complaint that people lodged against me... They still lived with each other. That's... That's still, like... That's still telling. I don't, that's the, that's like the semantic g game that like Lyo and them like to play is, oh, well, uh, when you made this video, they weren't living together. It doesn't matter. That's an irrelevancy. They were living together. Do live with a fucking predator. That's pretty sussy. It was about Squeaky Bloom, Bloomire, and how it was that I should take back my criticism because, after all, he did go on the live stream and denounce Bloomire. And in my Zerkalo video, I point out that he did, in fact, denounce Bloomire and even said that he would in fact, look further into it and perhaps even call him out. Well, it's been over six months. He has not made a single video on that subject. Me giving him the benefit of the doubt. And again, Coyote Lovely even took it took to the extent to victim blaming. Like like what Lyo is doing nowadays with the Peaches stuff. Coyote Lovely took it to the extent of victim blaming. Um, uh, Zarkalo's victims and um, Bloom, Bloom's victims. To the point where I even bothered mentioning that he had denounced Bloom was really kind of a waste of my time. It was a mistake that a few people, in fact, even called me out on. However, I'm just sitting here laughing at the fact that my video, minus the Zarkalo and living situation bit, was more correct than I could have ever possibly imagined. And the people responsible for the resulting backlash were made to be fools to greater degrees than I ever could have possibly hoped for. Oh God, big guy, you sure you can do that? Oh, you know, baby, that I can do that to you any day. Now let's go to my bedroom. <laughs> As stated earlier, my first video was primarily focused on Coyote Lovely's association and friendship with Zerkalo and Squeaky Bloom, and how people who willingly associate with pedophiles are no better than pedophiles themselves. This apparently went completely over everybody's head. I don't see the difference between a pedophile banging a kid and a person nodding along and smiling. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip this part. <clears throat> Let's see what the call says. Let's listen to the call. Well, when you look at the screenshots of, you know, those Discord DMs, I know that you saw them because you mentioned them. The Discord ones specifically, which were taken from, you know, Discord web client, which, you know, you can do that. If you look up at the tabs on the top, one of them is an online photo editor. So that kind of undercuts a lot of the validity of those screenshots. Like, I can't run with an argument that's based on that. The Twitter ones, I actually looked at. Okay, the mental gymnastics from Coyote Lovely is just insane. Um, let's get to the gay op section. Let's get to the gay op section. You fuck Zeus. He fuck Zappo and Zara Callo. Lovely fuck Zeus. On October 8th, 2021, Coyote dropped his most popular video to date. Hypnotist Sappho is worse than you think. This video garnered a quarter million views, and to anyone who watched it at the time, the video did an effective job of helping destroy Sappho's reputation, likely forever. People like me- I was lucky enough to say that I was introduced uh, uh, to the de degeneracy of Hypnotist Sappho 
by Turkey Tom. So thank God I never watched a Coyote Lovely video. Me, who had never heard that name before, would now only associate that name with the information <laughs> both Coyote and many others had provided, and understandably so. The evidence was, and is, quite compelling. The video ultimately resulted in him making two more videos on Sappho, both of them landing within the top five of his most watched videos. Although there were, of course, many others, as I suggested earlier, that did go after Sappho, and several with greater success than Coyote Lovely, it is also fair to say that Coyote Hi, Star. Odie Lovely was one of the loudest voices in the anti Sappho crusade that ultimately became the pike in which uh, Coyote would soon impale himself upon. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. It's about what's fair! So what am I talking about? Well, the most recent of his Sappho trilogy was uploaded. I'm jealous of you. <laughs> Thank you. Lanza introduced her to, to me and much more cohesive and much more cohesive. Um. Yeah, I hear Lance is like a pretty good uh, content creator. I, I don't really watch Lanza. Maybe I should start watching them. <clears throat> on September 30th, 2022, and literally the next day, on October 1st, 2022, what appears to be the start of a gay op had begun. On the surface, this doesn't seem like that big of a deal. I mean, everybody on the internet does that gay op shit, so who cares, right? He's got a small team and is trying to garner information on a pedophile dog fucker. No biggie, you know? Wrong. Things start getting real. Um, Joy Daly says, I really like how Gilded narr narrates his cadence is not annoying, and that's a rare for, for me. W. It's great that Gilded doesn't sound like Tipster. That's also a W, too. That's great. Really weird. Pretty fast. On November 22nd, 2022, Kaz did a stream with Coyote where they discussed their grievances directly with Zerkalo. I think, I think, like, okay, so I'm just going to say this. I think, like, Gilded is, like, Gilded's not like Tipster at all whatsoever, right? Not even close. Gilded is, like, so cool so based he's so funny right gilded like i think gilded is what we wanted tipster to be in commentary but just didn't because tipster decided to go down his locale pace and like become cringe and get all these goth mommies right gilded like doesn't kind of do that shit which is great um, I didn't even script anything, lol. You're talented, thank you. Or you're talented, sir. Who was also on the stream. This is, of course, the very same stream I referenced and showed clips of previously. And in that stream, Sappho, of all people, arrives. I know, it's pretty weird. What's even more weird is upon her his look sappho is trans right and i really really don't care about whether or not i misgender a pedophile so fuck off with all that gay shit anyways upon sappho's arrival he joins on the zircalo bash fest by giving his own unnecessary testimony that no one asked for on why zircalo you don't know what a goth mommy is? i'll explain it in a second Blue is a shit person so i do have a comment on strugs actually um and i don't want to say anything super mean or whatever but I thought that he was cool, but consistently throughout the entire time that I've spent around them, legitimately, you know, they're like a black hole. Like everyone that gets close to them gets sucked into this endless fucking black hole of despair and ends up being used and spit up and chewed out. Ignoring the irony of a pedo calling another pedo bad, this event was pretty weird. Why would Sappho effectively come to the aid of her most vocal enemies and not expect to be you, Sappho, yeah, total you. He inevitably bullied off that stream. It was pretty strange. However, it only gets stranger, as Coyote and her have their one and only interaction on that entire fucking four-hour stream. You asked about the band Coyote Lovely Chat. Yes. Um, so, Coyote actually might have a little bit of insight on that. Um, you know, I, I was really pissed. I was. And, um... I forget what exactly happened. You know, I, I know I that Coyote and I were really fucking at each other's throats and threatening each other and saying, you know, terrible shit, which which we made up for, by the way. But ew, nasty. Um, I was egged on <laughs> by Zerkalo, literally. Like I, I was at my fucking breaking point. You know, suicidal, thinking about blowing my head off. And I was actually egged on 
into they, that. Uh, and Coyote I, has the logs on that because Zerkala was literally telling them that that's what they were doing to me. I also just want to clarify something real quick. I do remember what happened during the whole, before the help ban Coyote level thing. You posted a video uh, that was labeled as an apology, which I commented in my video, you know, that recently <laughs> came out that it, the words that's I'm sorry right. didn't appear. And then I left a comment on the video saying this is going to be funny. You came into my DMs after you left a comment, sent me a screenshot of your comment. You and I had a back and forth where I was just kind of laughing at how angry you were getting about all of this. And then you started antagonizing yeah. me. I antagonized you back. It escalated. What? And then you guys accidentally kissed? Like, what is this? What is this bullshit? What is this fucking bullshit that you guys are playing at the time of this live stream? What? What's this cringe shit? Oh, this is how we DM'd? Oh. oh, I was making her mad in the DM. Oh, my God. Just shut up. Y'all are freaks. You guys are freaks. Shut up. Then, like, an hour later, you wound up creating that channel, and then I kind of antagonized you about that after I saw that channel because I thought that was really funny, but... Um, and I also want to yeah. clarify, yeah. I wouldn't say that you and I have made up. Um, we have talked on Telegram briefly, but for the most part, I've already told you that for the most part, the reason why I'm talking as civilly about random subjects when you talk to me about it is because I just right now do not have the energy to get incredibly hostile with people that I have adversarial relationships with. That's a lie. That is such a lie. I, because I've, I've read on the farms, I've read on the farms that, uh, Coyote Lovely loves causing drama loves causing drama with and i've also yeah. clarified that your relationship as it stands now i <laughs> this is why i love leah ha 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 lol you guys you guys are freaks shut up yeah totally they are freaks they are literally freaks i still find it predatory and i will not ever uh, move away from that kind of position i think dating a minor when you are an adult is a predatory thing and i do not agree with it now i may be civil with you for the moment when you are talking to me about subjects that are just kind of neutral things but Oh, the civilized pedo hunter. That's very telling. Like I said, that's just because of the circumstances and how focused I am right now on Zerkalo. That may change yeah. in the future. Like seriously, what the fuck was that? I talked to several people about this recently. Some sort of didn't catch on. All right, many of them actually didn't really even care about all that, while others came to the conclusion that I did. That that entire interaction sounded like an old couple reminiscing about how the first time they ever met was so great and cool and- Dude, I got to the same, same conclusion as Gilded. W. Grand and all that shit. Right before Coyote suddenly remembers, oh fuck, I forgot about optics and says, we're not friends though. They're at the end, you know? And honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty strange and literally no one on this stream or anyone watching has any clue that at this moment there's an- If I, like, okay, if I was like Hypnotist Sappho, like, thank God I'm not because I would freaking end game in Minecraft immediately, right? But it, like if somebody- we're on a live stream with me and they were like, oh yeah. And like, they're like sexy me behind the scenes. And like, let's say I have a picture of, of their dick or whatever. And they're like, oh yeah, we're not friends. We're, we will never be friends. I'll be like, motherfucker, you sent me a picture of your dick. What are you talking about? I just like call him out like that. The, that would be hilarious if that happened in the live stream. But unfortunately it didn't. So whatever an alleged op going on when he blatantly says on stream that him and Sappho have been in communication. Shortly after this brief interaction between Sappho and Coyote Lovely, Kaz rightfully and predictably bullies Sappho off the stream. So why the fuck you are know, you here? I ended up in a fucking hospital. Why the fuck ass. are you here? I almost blew my fucking head off. Maybe you Nobody cares. Should have. After this, Coyote is actually the only one to even notice, or even point out for that matter, awkwardly I might add, that Sappho had left the call. And then, just going, totally radio silent for a little over five minutes before abruptly leaving. Weird, right? Watch this clip I sped up for brevity, or at least the parts of it where he's completely silent, and I want you to stare at the screen, specifically at Coyote's avatar, and see how often it fucking lights up. Uh, she, she left. <laughs> zero, zero, zero times. Anyway, um, this has been fun, but I got to get going. I got stuff I got to take care of. I'm going to leave on this final thought. I got to go coddle to Hypnotist Sappho's feelings because you told her to end game. So my girlfriend is upset. So I got to leave the live stream. That is so hilarious.
Dude, Coyote a Lovely is so fucking cringe. This guy is a degenerate. Cass, send a Leech Shark Maniac and Zoophile Strugs to the Cast Iron Gates of Hell and have them damned. Woo! All right, see you later. Okie dokie. So what do you think he did? Oh, I know what I think he did. That was virtue signaling. I think he was comforting Sappho during a silence and then leaves to, frankly, comfort her in VC. And Dude, like, freaking... Whoa, like, Gilded and I are, like, on the same page. <laughs> Whoa. Before you try to claim that that's some kind of stretch, remember, he already did that with Circalo once before and has been called out for it recently. Coincidence? I think not! There's also one last little thing I left out. He spent those two months flirting with Sappho the entire time. Now, I would show you screen caps of those flirtatious conversations, but he fucking nuked everything and has- Ew! What is this? This screen cap was leaked after recording the Besset and is a Sappho alt account, by the way. Big yikes, dude. So then Besset sent this. Freaking nasty. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. And then Coyote Lovely says, ha ha, wow. I mean, I hate it personally, but guess it's a thing. It's given conflicting information so as to whether... So freaking nasty. Or not, he has the logs on them. In fact, pizza, one of those drawings alone are completely degenerate behavior. Kaz's mods did an effective job of casting doubt on Coyote's claim that he just panic deleted everything in Kaz's Coyote stream on February. I think that is Lolly. I I think it is because they wrote like 16 on it. I think that's Lolly. 25th, 2023. Another question that I have is why didn't you export the chats uh, before you nuked them? Because at the time, and I, I will rephrase this so we don't start a fucking argument with the way that I word this. I believed that at that moment the op was now blown. I didn't know that it was blown beforehand, or at least didn't think about that. And I thought I had a limited amount of time to act before Sappho did something crazy. So I decided to nuke them without exporting. Okay, here's where I'm going to prove that that's a lie. Okay? I don't know how you could prove Sapp that, but go ahead. <laughs> because the fucking screenshots on Kiwi Farms. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Uh, you ahead. said, and I quote... I redact dot dev my chats with Sappho because I didn't know how much time I actually had before Sappho put two and two together, and I realized that that I was doing fucking work. And the last thing I want is some crazy mother. Welcome back, Rag. Who literally put together an entire Telegram channel dedicated to ruining uh, me having any kind of access to these chats? Yeah, okay. which is what I so literally response, said right now. Yeah, my response to that is Sappho tried to address if if Sappho tried to address anything out of context, you could have easily shared the full context due to you know also having the chat. Okay, so emo emo says Lolly is more a body type. Okay. Chat logs. It's convenient that you're suddenly afraid that everyone would believe Sappho over you, right? Now the part that I'm going to prove is. Oh, hold on a minute. I actually do want to address that. Just because I've actually disproved the things she said before doesn't mean I could do it again. Like I understand. No, I. I no, I understand what you're saying, where I've disproven what she said by, like, posting the full context, but just because that that has happened previously does not imply it will happen in the future. Different things can always occur. Okay. Now, here's another quote. You said, I should have exported them first. That was a mistake not doing that, but I I didn't know how much time that I had because Sappho has weird fucking hours, so I just did the safest thing I fucking could have done. Now, here's my response. This is where, where it's obviously a lie. The decision to nuke your chats was not an impromptu one. You weren't worried about how much time you had, according to the screenshots of the DMs between you and Rodeo. According to the screenshots, you became aware that the op was compromised at 1952 hours. You then began conversing with Rodeo about why certain things had possibly occurred until 2016 hours, when you stated, I'm probably going to end up redact.deving my chats with Sappho soon. That's, that's sus suspicious. Why are you doing that? Suspicious. This implies that you are not in a hurry. The conversation continues, and at 20, 25 hours, you state, I'm currently redact.deving my chat with Sappho. In other words, it took you 33 minutes to make the decision to nuke your chats after finding out that the op was compromised. It takes a few seconds to export a chat. On Discord, it takes longer to redact.dev a chat than it does to export it, so you're a fucking liar, dude. You sat there and had to think about it. This is the evidence. This is evidence. This is factual evidence. You're a fucking liar. Yeah, basically, it looks to me like he lied. I think he has the logs, and he probably uh, thinks it's not within his best interest to show them, and he's probably right about that. However, since I don't have the logs, here's a screen cap of Coyote saying himself that he was doing just that. Okay, let me rewind it, because I want to I want to see that screen cap. <clears throat> oh my god. Thinks it's not within his best interest to show them, and he's probably right about that. However, since I don't have the logs, here's a screen cap. So Coyote Lovely on, uh, uh, January 1st, 2023, 8 p.m., um, or 2020, or 22, whatever, 
as of right now, Reyna had success, successfully managed to get a warrant out for Sappho's arrest. I've been keeping communication with Sappho, making her think I'm in love with her. Oh, fucking nasty. Uh, since she's more, I like, I don't, I'm not even okay with reading that sentence. Like, th I'm not okay with reading that sentence, and yet this dude is okay with typing that sentence. That's insane. It is fucking insane. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this used to be a friend of Lyo Convoy. Uh, uh, she's more she's more open with people who are infatuated with her. So far, that led me to be being able to accurately or to get accurate information to assist Reyna. For an example, I was able to confirm Sappho's address. On Kiwi Farms was accurate despite her protest based on those conversations. Why didn't, like, why are you trying to verify Kiwi Farms, guys? Like, why? Just, like, assume what the shit that they post on Kiwi Farms is, like, factual, okay? There's no need to actually go out and do gay ops and try and verify it, okay? Okay, guys, just don't do that. You look dumb. Um, apparently pizza has posted somewhere on Kiwi farms about the warrant. And if that becomes public knowledge, that gives Sappho the chance to DFE and ruin, ruin any shot Raina has, has at justice. So this is where that stands. And I am pretty annoyed by it all seeing I've, I've had to spend more than two months pretending to love somebody who threatened to kill my family and, and has spent over a year trying to ruin my my reputation. Up of Coyote saying himself that he was doing just that on January 22nd, 2023. And as it says here, he's been doing that for over two months. And you know what? I can buy that completely. Given exactly two months prior to that very message was Kaz's stream on November 22nd that he did about Zerkalo that I just clipped to you earlier and that I've mentioned probably like three fucking times now ad nauseum. However, this is to the extreme that he even tells someone that Sappho asked him to move in with him. Yeah. Um... Okay, so she actually tried to ask me if, if she could move in with me. I laughed out loud at that, but it pretended to be concerned when I replied. Ah, that that uh, flirting must have been pretty convincing there, buddy. Yeah, a little, a little too convincing, it would seem. Fast forwarding to February of this year to the prior mentioned Kaz stream featuring Coyote Lovely, Coyote is sitting in the hot seat. And as the stream came to a close, there were more questions than answers. One, almost nobody knew. That's a pretty big question mark right there, right? The three people Coyote did tell named Rodeo, Pizza and Lyo Man were only told in January this year. Rodeo was only told upon mentioning a former follower of Sappho's that later became a victim. Um, so this is Coyote. Uh, Evil Rodeo, good morning. I have received screenshots, screenshots of a 17-year-old who is a former follower of Sappho. They have expressed their feelings on how Sappho has used them. Then um, Coyote says, can you keep a secret? And then Evil says, yeah. Then Coyote says, all right, this has to stay under wraps. If it gets out, everything is ruined. So before I say what it, 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 what it is, you need to swear you never post this anywhere. And the only people you can talk to about it are people who already know, okay? Then Evil says, I swear. Then Coyote says, okay, Sappho and I are in direct communication before the Zarkalo stream. Oh, fucking nasty, dude. They were in direct convert. They were like in direct communication. So while he was going there attacking Zarkalo on his live stream or on this Cass Warfox live stream, whoever the fuck that dude is, um, supposedly, I think they are a degenerate too, but whatever. That's another, that's another thing. Um, he was already talking to Sappho. Before the the Zarkalo stream on Cass's channel where she came on, she had contacted me to apologize again. Shocker. I decided to see if I could use that to build trust and get more information. And so far, and so far it's working. She confirmed a lot of things privately while venting to me and while venting to me that otherwise wouldn't have wouldn't wouldn't have hard confirmation such as as her current location being Idaho and uh, several other things. I am working with something. I'm working with Alex something, whatever. 
victim or something to that effect, thinking Coyote, who has a reputation for hating Sappho, would look into it. Pizza was only told after sending a screen cap to Coyote of a conversation. So this is Pizza. Um, seen as the pers this person was all about involving you in ops at one point, I figured it'd be wise to share these DMs with you. And then they were, then Pizza says they were in Senate at one point with ele elevated privileges, but left. They are, mo they are a mod in Jason Fax's server. I mentioned my hesitation to trust them when the op against Sappho and Zoo Files was happening. You have a few minutes to call. And then Pizza says, yeah. And Coyote calls them. Conversation he had with the Alex character Coyote started the op with in the first place. More on him later. And Leo Man was only told after confronting Coyote on the very same screenshot. At no point did Coyote ever volunteer this information with anyone and claims that he basically just soloed the entire op. Bash, Kaz's lead mod, even points out exactly what the problem with that is. If you are going, quote, undercover, and you are going to kind of bed the enemy you i i would have at least two people that i would be giving information every fucking day because if that any suspect of me you know flipping that's my ass what was even the goal of this alleged op most of the information as stated in the february stream the legend the the op was oh gilded i could answer it for you the op for Coyote Lovely to have that with Hypnotist Sappho is to get nudes because he wants to coom. That's all he's doing. Fucking degenerate. Nasty. Was already information that was known. Why would you require some? Oh, Cass isn't a degen, or at least I've seen evidence of that. But Cass is a coward, a backstabber, and a doxer. Okay. One named Hypnotist Sappho to attempt. Okay, so they're not degenerate. I will backtrack my words they're just a weirdo to put you under hypnosis when literally everybody fucking knows she's a retarded weirdo that thinks hypnosis is anything other than pseudoscience that she uses to manipulate victims with everyone fucking knows that you talked about potentially feeding into sappho's hypnotist fetish why, why was that uh well if you recall correctly or if i recall correctly i guess if everyone recalls in the fucking video, the first one that I made, uh, there was the logs where she had abused somebody who was under hypnosis. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because I wanted to see if I could get a recording of her attempting to do an induction. Uh, granted, inductions only work if somebody is willing to be hypnotized to begin with. So essentially, since she wouldn't have any way to physically like fucking see Dude, this guy's a free me. I would be pretty simple just to record it and see exactly if that was true. I wanted to see if I could get a smoking gun on that particular allegation from when that video came. You literally, oh my God, this guy is dumb. This guy is so stupid. He's so fucking stupid. There is no need to get a hip, a smoking gun on hypnotist Sappho because they already self-admitted and they were already known to being a fucking freak. You're a loser. Loser, Coyote uh, Lovely. I was going to say ugly right there. Coyote Lovely, you're a fucking loser. You are a loser. Loser. No. It's in her fucking internet name. It says hypnotist in the name. Look. The yeah, you don't need a smoking gun. I agree with Gilded. Truth is that all these questions can be answered with a single sentence. There was no fucking gay op. There wasn't. He was just trying to get a girlfriend. Yes, yes, I know. I showcased that screen cap from October 1st, 2022, showing that there appears to be a start of a gay op. Problem is, the expressed purpose of that DM group in that screen cap was to collect information from Sappho's server and to facilitate easier communication between those involved. The problem, however, is that the entire thing that Coyote claims was just a gay op has absolutely nothing to do with that DM group whatsoever. In fact, I got the logs for the first month of that entire DM group, and at no point is flirting with Sappho mentioned, and in fact, not only is that not Bro. mentioned, Coyote, in a long freaking list of goddamn screen caps, only says two things. That's it. The only thing he is referring to as just a gay op is him flirting with Sappho. And why do I say that? Well, for two reasons. One, the logs I just mentioned a second ago. It's really hard to claim that the DM group is his gay op when he barely even was involved whatsoever. Two, the other reason he's clearly not referring to that DM group is, well, he flat out fucking said flirting with Sappho was a requirement for his op. There has been an op ongoing against Sappho, which I have been doing privately. Uh, Alex is aware of it. Um, that said, uh, it's involved a lot of, a lot of, unfortunately, I don't like it, but it had to do with a lot of flirting in order to gain Sappho's trust. There's a lot.
Dude, you're nasty, bro. You're fucking nasty. Uh, more to that clip. This is a friend of Kyle. Uh, Kyle. Oh, my God. I'm mixing up their names. This is a friend, a person who used to be friends with Lyo Convoy. We are playing. We're taking a, a rule from Lyo's, Lyo's book, a, a rule from Zachary the Twink, Lyo's Twink Secretary's book. If they're going to do guilt by association, we are going to do it too. An eye for an eye. Lyo likes to associate with Coyote Lovely. And it took him so fucking, it took him fucking forever to disavow his fucking friend like he's doing with Peaches right now. Whoa, it's almost as if they never changed. One thing I don't do it is lie. You lie, Lyo. That I'll get to in a moment. But before we get to that, one thing we can say for sure is that in no uncertain terms, Coyote states that his flirting with Sappho was basically the entire gay op. In fact, the flirting was so crucial that if pizza hears about said flirting, says Coyote, that's of course just the op. Uh, letting you know that, so that you're in the know about all of that shit in case something comes out with me talking to Sappho. That's why. Yeah, he associated with Vita too. Don't forget that. Yeah. Another known predator. And it would appear that Alex, a pedo, the guy I said we'd get to later, is the only person that Coyote ever volunteered this information to. Coyote doesn't even say Alex is involved. He just says Alex is aware of it when talking to Pizza. Uh, Alex is aware of it. Hell, Coyote even specifies once again in this same call that he was doing this alleged op on his... I am the zone privately. There has been an op ongoing against Sappho, which I have been doing privately. The most interesting part of this is that he even gives somewhat of a date for when this entire thing began. So before Cass's stream, Sappho tried to reach out to me to apologize, blah, 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 blah. I was not really receptive to that, but I did uh, talk to her specifically uh, just to see you know, if there was any way that I could actually gain information. This lines up pretty well with what we know already. The Zercalo stream started in late November of 2022, as I said previously. Yeah, I took, I took that clip from the from Enla's Discord. So thank you for the soundboard clip. I really appreciate it. I also have this one. I work with law enforcement. Oh. I hunt pedophiles. One thing I don't do it is lie. I have those three. Thank you. And he admitted in that stream that him and Sappho had been in communication. Based on the current evidence, this suggests that his communications with Sappho began somewhere in late October to early November, which also falls in line with what he said in January about how he had been flirting with Sappho for over the last two months. Meaning, if we take all of this at face value, he has been flirting with Sappho from the time their communication started. Interesting, ain't it? To make things even more strange, if they weren't strange enough already, Coyote tells Alex of his plan to rehabilitate pedophiles on December 24th and further, Dude, there's no rehabilitation. There is no fucking rehabilitation for these people. There's no help for them, okay? But let's just read. Let's just read the freaking DMs. So, uh, Coyote sends a link. Then Alex says, Jesus, of course, this person doesn't have a single no. Then Coyote says, right. Then, um, Alex says, let me do you a favor just in case. And then sends another link. Uh, there, she can't get it in in a DFE strike. Then Coyote says, working conspiracy theory. Valerie has an interest, and they're talking about in hypnosis, Sappho, has an interest in, in psychology, hypnotism, technology, etc. But ma she maintains an interest in discovering how to brainwash people into being receptive to zoophilia via revamp of... MK Ultra MK Ultra experiments. And honestly, I've not I've been reading up on a lot of MK Ultra experience and I find myself wondering if you could achieve positive results in rewriting a paraphile's brain. Oh my fucking god, are you fucking kidding me? This this guy is this dumb. Guys, like literally why? Literally why? Like, let me, I'm just going to make this PSA announcement right here. If you, PSA, public service announcement, if you are an internet pedo hunter and you think you can fix the, the, the pedo or the predator by using MK Ultra experience, grow the fuck up. You're fucking dumb. You are fucking dumb and you don't know what you're doing. You're, you don't know what you're doing. And you probably shouldn't be a pedo hunter, okay?
that this is ridiculous. This is insane. These people are crazy. Coyote Lovely is crazy. This is not so. Let me find out that this idea was shared with freaking Lyo Convoy. That'd be hilarious. Um, lose interest in things like pedophilia, zoophilia, and necrophilia by forcing long-term sensory deprivation to the eyes and ears via the back bag or black bag and noise canceling earphones while placed in a blackout room with noise proof padding on the walls. Is this what you did to Zarkarlo when y'all lived together? Did you try doing this to him? Like Jesus. Clearly that didn't help. Okay. You're a freak. You're a freak. Um, and it has a longer duration and use wireless nature of, uh, nature of earphones to induce hypnotic su suggestions to into the subject to completely rewrite their entire concept of what reality is and slash or prior being placed to isolation do this over the course of a few years. And what, and I wonder you could, if you could just theoretically just invent a new human being and override the old one. This guy is nuts. This guy is freaking crazy. Dude, I, there's no fucking way that Lyle looked at coyote lovely and was like, Oh yeah, you're a person that is completely normal. There's no way this guy is just insane. Bear in mind, I went after Coyote for all of this, and but Lyo only went after Cody, uh, Cody, uh, B. Cody D refused to help a victim who claimed she was a victim of grooming in her 20s. LOL. Um, that and that's like a dumb excuse on top of it, anyways. Oh, because because Coyote refused to help a victim, yeah, okay. It's a total LARP. These people are LARPing. Every one of them. Every one of them. I think the people that actually care about hunting predators is Queen Serafina and Crystal Flame. Those are the only two people that I think actually care. I think it's a grift on Peaches as Peaches' as end, and I think it's a grift on Lyo's end. And it's for sure a fucking grift on coyotes in these people are fucking grifting this is why i don't like internet vigilantism and it is people like this that gives the name a bad name because people actually there might be people that actually legit want to hunt predators but they can't because they're doing dumb there are people in the same community doing dumb shit like that the people that actually care work with law enforcement call me skeptical, LOL. No, I agree with you. You're not skeptical. You're, uh, I'm a cynic. I'm a realist, so we'll get along. Collaborates on January 11th of 2022 and 2023, respectively. Even What? I'm per- What? Whoa! Whoa! With this one. What is this? I'm performing a social experiment. I have a hip- hypnotist and i want to see if it's true or false this is insane what i want to see is some proof to try and get an answer to the question is it possible for long-term recovery for people who are groomed into the belief that they're a zoophile or a pedophile so far i'm taking i'm talking to three people who are on some level are are one of the above have identified as much. One is Sappho. One is liquid Sappho who expressed the uh, fake Sappho who's expressed. They want to put it behind them. And one is kerfuffle. None of these people know I'm gauging what, what they say to me or how they act to see if they can answer the question. Kerfuffle is, is in the control group. They've expressed the no desire to change. I am weighing on the actions of the other two parties against the actions of him as a proud, what? As a proud paraphile. I want to observe the steps to these, these two and take towards their own betterment to see if, if should 
a person really want to get better, then they can leave the community behind and try and find some sort of long-term solution to their own health. My guess is that while no cure exists for any paraphile, the symptoms that make it, it harmful can be mitigated, but uh, like other mental conditions. However, much like other mental conditions, I believe that the onus is... Oh, I said that word wrong. Onus is on the subject. Onus. Onus is on the subject, and they want to help for it uh, they want to help for it to be effective. Essentially, this is just me observing three poor, three people to see if I'm correct. I think, I literally think, like, right here, when Coyote is talking to Alex, I think he's projecting. I think he's projecting. I get the feeling that Coyote had, like, these suppressed feelings of, like, nasty behavior, nasty degenerate behavior, because they're, like, more than happy to talk about talk to people like internet or hypnotist Sappho, right? And flirt with them. They probably have the same sexual kinks kinks as them. They freaking associated with Zarcarlo. I guarantee you this kind of shit is like projection. Guarantee you, this is just insane. 2022 and 2023, respectively. Even states that he's talking to Sappho as part of his plan. This is the same idea that Alex regurgitates to pizza that ultimately results in Coyote then saying the exact- Uh, Gilded Pooh says, spoiler, he all- He said all this to cover for what he was really doing, lol. Oh. Opposite to pizza. So then it was just, like, a lie. It, to me, it looks like a projection, but I guess it was a lie. Yeah, that just concerned me because I can remember him pulling me, uh, Hate Fault, and you into a group, and he was, Alex was really enthusiastic about it, and knives out, basically, like, Sappho and the Zoo Files be damned, and then now reading what he's saying, it's kind of like a 180, and if you remember, I was hesitant to trust him initially, and I'd, I'd left the group due to that. Yeah, um, no, I, I, get where you're, I get where you're coming from, and like I said, um... Alex, for the most part, I disagree with the idea that Sappho is going to suddenly see a reason. I disagree with Alex's position, vehemently so, mostly because of the shit that I've seen and dealt with over the past two years dealing with Sappho. At the time of recording, all the prior mentioned facts are the most important and fleshed out bits of information that can be garnered from this situation, such as the Dia w whatever, uh, Coyote's boyfriend, saying in late November that he'd been in talks with Sappho as well. What sort of talks? What did those conversations entail? Don't know. Why was a person named Monstrous mentioned by Alex in a reply to Coyote? talking about reforming pedophiles. Was it an inside joke of some kind, or was this monstrous person involved somehow? Don't know. Is Coyote still talking to Sappho? Don't know. So with all we do know, what does all this mean? Well, what follows is my working theory, so put your tinfoil hats on because, uh, <laughs> this one is gonna be a little spicy. In late October, shut up, birds! Fuck you! <laughs> For this part of the- <laughs> Oh my god. Let the birds tweet, Gilded. The video, I think it is crucially important that we have a more face-to-face -face conversation here. And of course, mind any sounds of gay-ass fucking birds or vehicles passing by, there's nothing I can really do about it. Though I have considered taking out the chainsaw and cutting the fucking tree down, killing that entire fucking obnoxious family of birds, but gen- Why? Love the birds. Like the birds. What- what is this? Be nice to the birds. <laughs> side aside. I want to point out real quick that what I'm about to say is based on all the factual information that you have heard so far. And so how does that tinfoil theory go? Well, it goes exactly like this. Either in late October to early November, perhaps earlier, but we don't know that, Coyote Lovely had been in very flirtatious conversations with Sappho. And as to the involvement of Alex, the guy who started the op in October, we don't really know exactly the total extent of his involvement. We do know that he was informed about this from a screen cap in fucking December, but we don't know for sure if that was actually the first time he was told. Regardless, what we do know for a matter of fact is that both him and Coyote and Dia were all independently in communication with Sappho, which is pretty interesting. So with that said, what exactly did he do? Well, there was no real op to speak of. This op that Coyote- Hashtag leave the birds alone. Is primarily referring to is really just him flirting with Sappho. So what we do know is these conversations, these flirtatious conversations, went on for entire months. Rodeo being the very first one to be informed. And I believe that Rodeo was only informed because he was criticizing Sappho. And there was a potential probability that if Coyote didn't look into the claims that Rodeo gave, that Rodeo himself might either recruit other people to look into Sappho on that subject 
or might do it himself. And as a result of that, there is a probability in Coyote's mind, well, if they look too far into Sappho, they might uncover my love letters with Sappho. So, what did Coyote do? Well, you see, Rodeo, apparently, is kind of an idiot. So what he said to Rodeo was essentially, hey guy, I got it. I have this. I am flirting with her. There's a gay op going on. And uh, essentially, a very soft way of saying, don't get in my way, right? So Coyote does that. All is good. All is fantastic. All is great. He can continue flirting with the pedophile. And later, Nasty. later on, for some abstract reason, Pizza, who was in the DM group, with Coyote for that monitoring Sappho server thing, got messages from Alex. Alex talking about rehabilitating pedophiles, which naturally Pizza thought was absolutely fucking insane. So Pizza gets a hold of Coyote, messaging him about it. Coyote asks the VC, and in that VC, Coyote, of course, tells him the same bullshit that he told Rodeo. Because, after all, Pizza, he's kind of an idiot, right? So what ended up happening was that Pizza bought it just like Rodeo bought it. The difference is, of course, is that Coyote could not admit in any way, shape, or form that he agreed with Alex's stance. And not just agreed with Alex's stance, but also was the one that was the genesis of Alex's stance by claiming that this was all some weird fucking mech ultra, whatever the fuck it's called, fucking op gay shit. MK ultra. <laughs> scientific social experiment garbage crap. And the reason he didn't admit to any of that is because, well, they would look into him, and the object is to make sure that nobody looks into him or Sappho. And that worked yeah. for a little while. Well, I gotta be able to flirt with the babe in peace. Yeah, that's freaking weird. This coyote guy is a freak. Really just a few days, right up until Pizza sent a DM to Lyo Man with a screenshot of that conversation Pizza had with Alex. And as a result of that, what did Lyo Man do? Well, he contacted... Coyote, and Coyote fed him the same bullshit he fucking told everybody else because, you know, after all, Lyo man, he's kind of an idiot. Please tell me Lyo is dumb enough to call, to believe that bullshit. Idiot. And ignoring the fact that Lyo man claims that he told Coyote that that was all fucking stupid, it doesn't matter because it would appear that Lyo man just believed him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Lyo believed him Lyo believed <laughs> God Lyo believed Coyote Lovely oh my god that's hilarious uh is that gilded yes that's gilded and just thought well he was just doing a stupid thing and as more and more people look into it because more and more people are asking basic questions they come to the real the beard is so base realization that it really really appears like coyote is just lying to everybody about this op so that whenever they hear shit like oh my god coyote is flirting with a pedophile that we all know is a fucking pedophile that they would be like oh well he told us about this fucking op and so it's not a big deal it's just an op guys it's just it's just an op the reality is is that coyote just wanted that tranny d that's all it fucking comes down to. And the real reason why all of this has come to the surface and all of these people think this, including myself thinks this, is primarily because all of the people that Coyote branded as an idiot were actually in fact smart enough to ask basic fucking questions that completely undermined the entire uh, op that Coyote was running. And they did so gloriously in a fantastical, lovely, shit-eating fucking face. Because at the end of the day, Coyote is kind of an idiot. He's an idiot and insane, completely insane. So this video was made a year ago. This video was made actually March 10th, like almost a year or like the anniversary just passed. This was, this video was made March 10th, 2023. So I was going to, you know what? We'll go, we'll save this video for another time. We're going to, we'll do another video co going over the Zarcarlo stuff um, and Coyote's response into Zarcarlo. Specifically, Coyote decided to like fucking defend, defend um, Zarcarlo to the end. And it even gotten to the point where Lyo had a, had a call with Zarcarlo and, um, and coyote about this. Oh my god. I'm I have the hic I have the hiccups. Um th this video was made February 26, 2023. So the point is the reason why I showed you the Gilded Poo uh videos was because Gilded Poo was like calling the shit out 
for months at a time, for months and months and months and months, Cass Warfox was doing the same thing too for months and months and months, right? They were on it back in 2022, right? Gilded, we know for a fact, was on it at 2023, criticizing Coyote Lovely. Lyo didn't jump on it until 2023. Lyo kept making excuses for them, just like the same shit that he's doing with Peaches right now. Making excuses for Peaches. He did the same, st same stuff with Coyote Lovely. Did it with Coyote Lovely, right? Let's see how let's see how Lyo responds to everything. Now that everything's out in the open, because Coyote Lovely got outed, he definitely he got outed for his his degenerate behavior. There's a Kiwi Farms thread on him. There's a Kiwi Farms thread on him, so he was called out. And I think it's justified in calling him out. One thing that no one tells you is the trouble of making sure everyone involved is in good standing in terms of ethics and procedure. Because when you become known for this specific role, there will be people that join more with the intent of hoping that if they're there, their skeletons won't ever come out. The other side is people working on busting predators. It's interesting how he talks about skeletons while Peaches has skeletons. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Lyo's talking a little bit slow, so we're going we're gonna to move this a little bit forward. Using methods that are unethical at best and inexcusable at worst. This is the short story of Coyote Lovely. While Coyote has been an admin in Senate and I've worked with him before on different cases, some actions of his that don't pass mustard was brought to my full attention by Cass Warfox and members of his server on Monday, the 20th of February. Cass wasn't aware of- That's a lie. That is a lie. One thing I don't do it is lie. Well, you're lying, Lyo, because this was brought to your attention before that. What I did and did not fully know. The key things brought up were Coyote's seeming pattern of getting close to zoos only to drop them when seemingly convenient. Examples of this are people like Zercarlo and Sappho specifically. There's also Coyote following artists on for affinity that have questionable art to say the least. I told Cass that we'd look into it and I planned on confronting Coyote about it on Saturday. In the group chat. So this is a, this is a chat that says it's likely, it's likely I'll confront Coyote on Saturday. I want to keep the blood pressure low so I can press, uh, or I can pass the yearly physical, Jesus Christ, you're, Lyo, like, are you serious? You're that, your health is that uncontrollable that you can't pass a physical? Jesus Christ, dude. Get your shit together. Get your fucking health together, bro. And I'd like to enjoy myself this week and make content I like. I just wanted to keep everyone in the loop. And someone says, I'm not going to even try and say their name. Kai, I'll just say Kai. Of course, keep us updated. Finn says, all right, keep us, keep you, yeah, keep us updated and whatnot. Then Vash says, I'll know how it, I'll know how it, how that is, dot, dot, dot. Been busy, Dargon, for a few months now due to all of this. And it's been cutting on my time with Finny. So that's, that's that's also getting me annoyed. So Lyo is like freaking slow. He's so slow. He's so slow to confront Coyote Lovely. Even after knowing the de degenerate behavior, even after knowing what Coyote Lovely is doing, making a mockery out of his, out of his community, out of pedo hunting, he's still slow to confront him. Or slow to address things. Miss Lou says, I have summoned. Hello, chat. Hello, Miss Lou. Welcome to the chat. Um, Gilded says, Lyo even got on stream with me after my first video, by the way, Leah. This is insane. So he knew what was going on. He's just so slow to take a response. Chat we DM'd in, I made the reason clear. I had a physical to pass and I needed to keep my blood pressure down in order to do this. I made sure to tell the admins in my server what Coyote has been accused of and that we need to look into it. However, on Wednesday, after a call Coyote had with Cass, where Cass told Coyote I wasn't happy with him, Coyote called me at work, where I couldn't record or pull anything in front of me. Coyote reiterated what he said about Zakalo, that he wasn't aware of all the things he'd done, and that with Sappho, he was pretending to flirt with her in order to get info on her, allegedly under the belief that a warrant was out for her. However, in the call, when Coyote read me the messages from the victim, it was clear the detective the victim was working with said he was working on a warrant, not that one was issued. How that passed by Coyote is a mystery to me. Actually, it's not, because Coyote is impulsive and apparently has a history of doing chronically stupid things. You see, Coyote came to me on the 7th of January and told me about this baiting of Sappho. In that call, I told Coyote what he was doing was stupid and that he needed to stop immediately. 
In response, Coyote kept it all up until the end of January. There's more details about all that found in Cass's stream, so I'll link it below. The art follows could be explained perhaps by him liking one non-degenerate piece of art he saw and seeing nothing past that. It's something that's happened to many people before, and that's a fairly reasonable response. But there was also him following a previously outed degenerate named Bloomy here on his Instagram that he said he hadn't logged into in over a Dude, Lyo, like, why do you just speak and just have, like, a bur blurry, screen, blurry screen? Get fucking better at, like, editing, please. This year. I told Coyote I wanted to have another This is bad. This is making me fall asleep. Lyo. Call at length about this on Saturday. He had already scheduled a stream with Cass to go over this info and a thread made about him on Kiwi Farms. Then came Saturday. Up to this day, Coyote wasn't taking any of He'd never told Coyote to stop, lol. He did say it was stupid. This seriously and clowning on people on Twitter. You'd so he lied. He lied. One thing I don't do it is lie. Well, yeah, apparently you lied. You you said that you told uh, Coyote Lovely to stop and that wasn't the case, so expect that would mean that Coyote was feeling confident about the stream. He said as much after all. But then he canceled his appearance on stream, citing an impromptu dinner with his family as the reason why. No one was happy about this. This is when I was passed some new info from people in Cass's server about Coyote interacting with zoo files on a service called Telegram. I told Coyote he needs to cancel his plans and be on that stream to defend himself. Cass's stream started, and Cass immediately goes to say that he thinks I knew all about this, and that I hadn't dealt with Coyote properly yet. Keep in mind, the most condemning things about Coyote weren't even out until that day, and I told Cass when I'd be dealing with Coyote, but I don't fault Cass for his skepticism. And in that stream, I told Cass I'd be dealing with Coyote after the stream. Coyote, finishing his dinner in record time, hopped on the stream, and proceeded to make a complete mule out of himself. Again, I recommend you go watch it. Afterwards, we had a talk with him in Senate with the admin team. That's this column about to play here. It's about 50-something minutes long. I'm sorry if the audio on Coyote's end is quiet, and be warned there will be yelling. Here it is. Hang up. All right, I have some water, so... Since I am the person who owns this server, I am the person who leads this server, I'm the person that everything eventually falls down to, I suppose I'll go ahead and start. Well, hold on, hold on, before you start, hold on. I'm gonna make this perfectly clear. You have one person, one, exactly one person in your corner right now, Coyote, and they are not in the server. One person in your fucking corner. I just want to make that plainly obvious to you. Who are you talking Go ahead, about? Leo. Who are you talking about? The only person who is currently in Coyote's corner is Opal, and that's it. Isn't Opal um, Lyo's daughter? Am I correct? I think Opal is Lyo's daughter. Um, no, Lyo is going after Coyote for Blue Mirror, something Lyo was against me for bringing up in my first video. So he didn't... So Lyo didn't even believe the Blue Mirror stuff. Are you serious? That's ridiculous. Yeah, well, that can't really be dealt with right now. And if Opal sees what went on, if Opal sees what went yeah. on there and Dude, does not the, address it. The Blue Mirror, like the Blue Mirror stuff is insane because Blue Mirror, like, didn't he have like diaper fur pictures that was like Nazi kind of stuff? Am I am I right? I think so. I think I'm right. Opal was, yes, not anymore. Okay. That's on her. But she isn't right. in this server. She is not part of this administration. So that doesn't really matter. What really matters is the fact that, again, I own this server. I run this server. I have some help doing so. But ultimately, what goes on comes down to me. And to a point, you know, it kind of has to. Let's be honest. Oh, it's interesting that Lyo's taking responsibility for the Senate back then, but can't even do it now. Okay. Uh, it kind of has to. And I'm getting a lot of heat here because I have not dealt with you quite yet the way that needed to be done. So we're going to do that now because I told Cass that I was going to do it after I got everything. Yeah, the Blue Mirror thing was a slam dunk. He was flirting with minors and it was passing around the furry diaper lollycon. So it was furry diaper lollycon. Yeah. How, how do you literally, how do you not, how do you see that evidence? I saw it like a few days ago when I was doing research for Coyote Lovely. I saw it a few days ago and knew it was like, okay, yeah, this guy is a predator. How is Lyo being like slow to even acknowledge that Blue Mirror is a, is a predator? This guy is like the world's dumbest predator hunter. Jesus Christ, what a dummy. I was going to say that, that word. I think done concerning my physical, my blood pressure, because I couldn't beforehand. Now, Coyote, you and I had a conversation on Wednesday about some of this stuff. But very little of it. And to a point, some of the stuff you said, I can excuse. The the nonsense on fur affinity, yeah, definitely a problem. I can I can see why that's an issue. The Bloomy Air stuff, okay. Still not cool. At all. Like, at all, at all. Dude, like... Oh, oh my god, oh my god. 
So, like, what he's saying is still not cool at all, at all, is to, like, specifically Coyote victim blaming the Blue Mirror and the Zarkarlo victims. It's like, Lyo, you weren't so quick to call this guy a predator, and you're a predator hunter. Uh, Gilded said, I handed them Blue Mirror on a silver platter, and I'm not a pedo hunter, so I thought they would have, they would have covered him. And I talked to them on the stream. Nope. That's interesting. Like, why didn't they cover this? It's almost like they're grifting. Hey, you're doing better, though, Leah. Thank you. Thank you, Darth. I really appreciate it. But not only have we gone through the nonsense of Zakalo, and then we had to deal with Sappho again, which I have to ask real quick before I go any further. How long did the op last, Coyote? The end of November until the end of January. So a three-month op. Or two month op closer, I suppose. You I, I guarantee you that op was way longer. Got a two month op on this individual. And you didn't tell me about it until I think January. Let me go ahead. Don't go ahead and double I think check. It was the end of December. I'm, Let I'm me double check. I want to make sure. I want to make sure. So give me a moment because I don't, I don't want to come after you hard and fast unless I have a good reason. So give me a second here. Ew. Lyo coming after people hard and fast. Nasty. Gross. <laughs> You came to me at the very beginning of January, January 7th, and told me about the op. Because you told me the same day you told me about the SETI and pizza nonsense concerning SETI thinking this is a, a trans grooming discord. You told me in that call, and I told you in that call. Thank you for the hearts. I really appreciate it. That's stupid, and you shouldn't be doing it. Did you continue that op after I told you that? Yeah, I did. You remember how I told you in that call? That you shouldn't do it because as a predator hunter, your credibility is important and how this would look. <laughs> That's hilarious to me because like Lyo, I could say the same thing for you right now. Your credit your credibility is important. And how does it look on your end? <laughs> and this is before I found out more of this nonsense. Apparently you guys having actual ooh woo conversations instead of just basic flirting. And it should not have been me coming to you to tell you how to recover these Discord chat logs when you're being roasted over them. So yeah. Gilded says he never yells at Coyote for victim blaming Blue Mirror's victim. He yells at Coyote for never looking into Blue Mirror. Same shit like I said nine months earlier. Jesus Christ. Why doesn't he look into it? Coyote, I'm, I'm not happy about a lot of things, but one thing that absolutely 100% needs to be addressed without question is number one, how this keeps happening. Number two, why you keep taking stupid risks and doing predator hunting that I never had to do. Yeah, Headbanger says, so Lyle knew about the Blue Mirror stuff and still had Coyote around? The fuck? Exactly. Not only that, he didn't cover Blue Mirror. He didn't cover Blue Mirror. And <clears throat> there's like a pattern, there's now a p established a pattern behavior where Lyo is sitting on questionable information. He's sitting on it and he's not doing anything. He doesn't take action. And then it takes for people to call him out in order for him to take action. The SDK server logs, he was sitting on those logs for months. It took Akumo making his videos in order to take, in order to have Lyo open his big mouth. Open his big mouth about the FCK server logs. And guess what he does? As soon as he opens his mouth and addresses the FCK server logs, he defends his, he defends Peaches because that's his friend. It took him a few months to address the Blue Mirror stuff. But instead of, instead of running defense for Coyote Lovely, because at this point, Coyote Lovely is indefensible. There's no fucking defense for that. He gets on him for something completely different and doesn't even cover Blue Mirror. So it's just like, dude, yeah, this is a grift for you, buddy. This is an entire grift. So here's where I'm going to hit you a little bit about Anthony was smarter than that. Anthony never got into stupid zoophile group chats. He certainly didn't pretend to have crushes on any of these. Go ahead. 
I never got in a group chat. If you look at those chat logs, you can see right then and there in that, that fucking conversation was between me and one singular human being. I never put myself in a group chat. I don't know who spread that narrative, but that's a lie. I put the chat logs right there in the moderation chat. You can see them plain as day. Let me go double check then, because I'm very curious. That's between me and one human being. I can even get you fucking screenshots directly off of my telegram because I didn't wipe the logs. Did Whoever's you... saying that was in a chat, that's false. One moment. I've got to go back there because more than what you were, what you posted was posted in Cass's server. So let's see here. Where did I put? Holy crap. He... What happened? Screenshots directly off of my telegram because I didn't wipe the logs. Did Whoever's you... saying that was in a chat, that's false. One moment. Okay, so this is like a semantics argument that they, they go about. I'm just going to fast forward for the sake of time. Which what? apparently was supposed to be some stupid zoo files against zoo status thing. I was told about it, and since I didn't have time to fully look into this, and the chat that I was looking at, because somebody sent me information, chat log specifically, had those two shields on it, you know, I decided, fuck it, kick it over to these people. So you kick a zoo sadist over to a zoo file? Not entirely. I had a conversation, and when they did nothing, I know I, I okay, didn't, okay, didn't leave it there. Whether they did nothing or not is not the point. You kick a zoo file over to a zoo, a zoo sadist over to a zoo file. Satan can't cast out Satan, Coyote. What were you thinking? Satan can't cast out Satan, Coyote. I want that as a sound clip. One thing I don't do it is lie. This is the problem. You can't get close to these people. What were you thinking? I was thinking that the person who told me about this at the time was my friend and I trusted them. There Co you go. Coyote, it's Zercarlo who told me. Yes, I'm sure Zercarlo is the source of a lot of really stupid decision making. But Coyote, <laughs> even detracting Zercarlo from this. How can you be that foolish? Because he's that foolish, you dummy. I've had friends tell me to do stupid things before, too. I've had family members I have loved tell me to do stupid things before. I didn't. No one gives a fuck about your family, Lyo. Do it. Holy crap. Dude. I wish I could tell you, but this is a decision that was made a year ago, and I, I, I don't know what my fucking headspace, what my decision-making was a year ago. Clearly, I'm not even a fucking good at making these decisions now. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to say at that point, except... He wasn't thinking. Obscure, that's a, that's a good point. Was Coyote even thinking? That's the better question. He wasn't. I was made a really fucking dumb error. Coyote, Another one. there's only so... Up to the, the, the many of them that I made. Coyote, if Anthony was in this position, you wouldn't be that generous. Because you know what? You know what? Cass was right about at least one thing, barring perhaps everything else. Let's assume he was wrong about everything else. I'm not saying he was, but let's assume he was. He's right. We roasted Anthony over less. And I think we were justified in doing so, and we're certainly justified in doing it to you right now. Because not only did you pull this stunt, you did it without telling anybody! So now when you're getting outed for this, it makes the entire server look terrible. Oh, because that's all that Lyo cares. That's all that Lyo cares about is his image, his public image, the server. What What is the image of Senate? Makes the entire server look terrible. And this is the problem I always have with people who run around and do stupid crap while they're in administration. I hate to tell you this, the buck doesn't stop at you. It has to stop at me. And I have my personal information out there. My name, my address, my family, all that. By decision, yes. Never hit any of it. But that means this can come back to my doorstep too, as it can come back to your doorstep. And you didn't even think about it. I, I get the feeling that Lyo was like complaining like about Kiwi Farms right there, but whatever. I didn't think that it would come back on anyone but myself if things went bad. Coyote, you and cannot be that foolish. I understand. I understand. In hindsight, I should have thought about that. I didn't. I didn't think. First off, I didn't think. Second, I didn't think that even if I got, even if all this got put out wherever, that this would somehow reflect on Senate. That didn't make sense to me at the time. Coyote, how does that not make sense to you at the time when we dealt with stuff like this before? We have dealt with stuff like this before. We dealt with it with Vita, with his erroneous actions, which... Whom of which you were friends with. Tranted, none of us knew about... Again, guys, we're playing the guilt by association thing. We're taking lessons from Lyo Convoy and his twink secretary, Zach. You associated with Vita. You're associate, you associated with Coyote Lovely. About, not until D-Day, none of us knew. But you see how this reflects, because you came to defense of me against Junkman, which, again, still appreciate, but you know how it can reflect on things. I think the truth of the matter is you didn't think anybody'd find out. And this is the biggest problem I have. With people who do this like you, or other people who have me in their corner, none of you clowns ever come to me 
when it's time to have a serious conversation about this. You always wait until you screw up to come to me afterwards. And part of me wants to think that's because you know how I'm going to respond. And you know I'm going to tell you that's not okay. And that you shouldn't do it. But you got to do it, don't you? Why didn't Peaches come to you about FCK? It's not, and I don't buy it that she didn't remember. I do not buy that. I understand wanting to get justice for a victim. Trust me, if anyone here does, it's me. But you do not get justice for people by sullying yourself and being in the back pocket of other degenerates. And that's what those people are. You can think zoo files could get in a group and perhaps get help. That's not reality. They want help, they can go elsewhere. They don't get in stupid little communities in insular things where they feed into their paranoia's back and forth, their paraphilia's back and forth. That isn't healthy. That doesn't work. That doesn't fix anything. And then you sit there and have the temerity to pass on zoo. Uh, Zaras says it's, it's hilarious that you can have this Lyo rant directed at the current situation and it's kind of and it it kind of fits i completely agree with you zaroth completely agree with you because that that that's it what he what lyo has criticized others for um he's doing right now it's hilarious congratulations you won comment of the live stream because you are so on point with that comment do say this off to these same people. And at the base level could be considered troll shielding. At the highest level, what are they going to do? We're going to get rid of these people because it makes us, us real zoophiles, look bad because they're abusing animals and we're not. Are you kidding me? This isn't just stupid. This, this is, and you know what? I I can't even say other, anything other than stupid. You know, I know the word you're thinking. You don't have to say it. It's asinine. It's inexcusable. And then on top of all that, all of that. Okay. I'm going to warn you. Whoever is the fake Hopeless Peaches account, if you are the fake Lyo account doing the same bullshit, you're about to be banned, okay? You are on warning. You have the temerity to first and foremost not even want to get on that stream later on, not even recognizing what this could do to you when you and I have a conversation. You make excuses for why you can't do it, only to then show up 30 minutes after the stream gets into. After, by the way, we've been dragged into this nonsense. After I have people sitting there looking at me sideways because of your actions, thinking I knew. If I had known, I would have tossed you out earlier. But even after all that, after all of that... So that's a lie. That's a lie, Lyo. One thing I don't do it is lie. That is a lie. You knew this stuff was happening, and you decided to not cast him out. You didn't make this a priority on your end. In fact, you defended Coyote Lovely. You know why? Because you called Gilded Pooh a, a conspiracy theorist when it came to stuff like this. It's the same shit that you're doing with Peaches right now. You're so quick to attack people because Peaches has been caught m massively negligent with her platform, his platform, right? Massively negligent with his platform. And you attack other people that are criticizing her or criticizing him, right? You did the same thing with Coyote. So it's the same thing. You have not changed whatsoever. You're just repeating the same beh behavior. And not only that, you're doing guilt by association tactics with others. That! You sit in a call on that stream with somebody you had apparently wronged, and I didn't know the full extent of everything. Because here's the truth of the matter when it comes to Fursky Doodle. That's a lie. You didn't know the full ex extent of everything. That's bullshit. That is your responsibility to figure out the full extent of everything, okay? If you don't figure that out, that's your problem. Frisky Doodle is in the same situation you would you could say that Opal was at one point. Frisky needed help. Did you file the report? Yeah, probably. I don't have anything to say that you didn't other than the fact that it does not exist in any sort of record database. That could be caused by anything. A hiccup on the internet, database deletion, because I've had to deal with that sometimes too in my regular work day. I understand that may not work. Or maybe something wasn't filled out right and the cops just trashed it. I don't know. But I can't also get you to prove a negative. But bare minimum, Coyote. Bare minimum. You don't sit there and talk trash to somebody you tried to help. Somebody you recognize as a victim. And you insult them and tell them you don't care. When I had to deal with outing Vita after what he did to Jazz, because that was the first victim we knew about. Jazz previously, matter of fact, earlier that year, months before, just a few, tried to get an, a legit hacker against my wife and I after we dealt with the zoo file police. And you know what I did with Jazz when Jazz came to us and told us about what Vita did? I didn't say, well, you tried to harm my family, you can piss off. No, I said, all right, let's do this. How do we protect you and how can we help? And Jazz has not spoken to me after blaming me. What was 
Oh my God, do you want an award? Oh, boo hoo. Except for one time when I asked her a question after blaming me for a suicide attempt. And you know what? Even if she came to me today, today, and said, I need help, I'm dealing with a predator, regardless of what she's doing. Mm, Coyote had the same problem in the second Rosa live stream where he tries to make a Naruto reference referring to Rosa crying and his voice cracks and says, nobody believes it, okay? Unto me, I would help her. The way you showed in that stream just tells us that whether or not you care about a victim is only, only predicated on whether or not- Gilded says, ready for maximum optics. The, f the first skadoodle shit is hilarious. Coyote was actually in the right to say that Lyo was chewing him out for saying- but They're nice to you. You're right, you do need out of this. That is abhorrent. Egregious. Unacceptable. Yeah, uh, so uh, Darth Tara, the, apparently the Zoophile police were like a group of people on the inter internet that were also hunting Zoophiles. On every level. Everything you have done here is unacceptable and no, reflects on everybody. State, Go ahead. I want to state for just a moment, the only reason I was getting mad at Persky and insulting her was because of the way I was currently being treated. And the, the fact that she was a victim had nothing to do with that That's register. That's not the point that you said. No. That is no, not what you said. You no, said that what I had said like on stream, like other people. What I had said on stream is that she just happened to be a uh, okay, Peaches. A victim, and that wasn't why I was insulting her. I was insulting you her because I don't like her. You said that they were a lesser victim than other people because you fucking disliked them, you piece that's of shit. A, that's literally not what I fucking said. What I said is that I had to pick between two different people. One person who had a safety net being Fursky, one who had no safety net. I picked the one with no safety net. Oh wait, yeah, wait, and, wait, you said that, and you said that because you were completely unbiased and not because you were pissing your pants on a fucking stream that you had to go onto because you fucked up over and over again. And on top of that- Should I not have fucking picked that? Should I not have picked the victim with no oh, fucking safety net? Oh, hold on, so hold on, stop. Them. Once again, Coyote should should change his persona to the square, to the squirrel. The that way he'll he will go slow for not true. Stop. Okay, I was a bit confused on that one. Thank you for clarifying. Of course, you're welcome. Uh, Gilded says first Gadoodle was someone who claimed she grew she was groomed in her 20s and first he acted really entitled and acting like a psycho coyote called her a bitch and was uh right to do so yeah i mean i don't disagree with that it's, that's like kind of the stuff that's happening with the minecraft community right now too so i don't disagree with that it's not an either or coyote you are not so doggone busy that you could not have sat there and helped her as well as other people. I know because I am busy. 60 hours a week, a family to take care of, a secondary job, all of that, and I still help people. More than one. Oh, do you want an award? You, now you have two jobs, Lyo. Okay, whatever. Person at any given time. And your family is just your wife, okay? Shut the fuck up. What's your excuse? I'd love to hear it. Because even at the beginning, I'm a doggone year, you cop, Lyo. That's my excuse. I'm not a fucking cop. And it's not my you obligation. Not a cop. You promise him that you'd help. I promise. And then you I there promise and said, well, I, I, I kept that fucking promise. But other than that, I'm not a fucking cop, and it's not my job. No, well, you said on the screen, on the stream. He sounds like Coyote Lovely. Sounds like Mama Max right there. Where Mama, like when Mama Max was getting confronted, uh, he by uh, Nicholas Diorio Mudahar. Um, Mama Max was just like, well, why do I have to cover it? Why do I have to cover this? And it's like, because that's who you are. That's your persona that you made on the internet. You decided to be the the predator hunter. Yeah, people are going to come to you about their cases. Maybe if you don't want that to happen, maybe you don't be a predator hunter. It's He's pulling the Mama Max thing right here. To a lot of people who believe that you didn't even file the report and you said well if i did they were mi way more upset that coyote called an alleged victim a bitch that anything to do with the sappho i mean that's insane that's insane he's literally flirting with the zoo file and they're pissed off because they didn't help he didn't help a victim that's insane didn't i don't have an obligation to because i dislike you, you know what i no. i predicated as even if i do not even if i didn't even if your assertion is the truth it doesn't matter because i do not have an obligation because i'm not a fucking police that, officer that's not that was predicated as an if that doesn't even make any sense because coyote what i just lined out to you was the difference in the ability to manage time i'm able to help multiple people while working a full-time job you said you ha couldn't juggle two people at once essentially so you chose the one person who didn't have any backing coyote that is true whenever no hold on go ahead that is true and the thing is, the promise that was made, the direct promise, I will file a report, and I kept that fucking promise. But at the end of the day, beyond that, because I made that promise, but, but I, I was, I should have done that, and I did do that. 
But beyond that, I have no obligations beyond it. I'm not a fucking cop. This isn't my fucking responsibility. You couldn't even... So Bavani says, uh... By the way, like, four months before this, uh, NECA Coda, or four months before this... Nekakoda was exposed for trying to in intimidate a kid over a drama with other with another kid. LMAO, every few months, it seems someone gets outed from Senate for being insane. Yeah. Just Check stop on making promises. Guys, thank you for the emojis. I really appreciate it. Stop making promises? Why? I fucking filed the report I promised to make. No, no Coyote, you couldn't even have checked on her? I checked on her verbally in voice chats. Cass was in one of them when she had asked after it had been a week, and I said it could take longer. As you know, I that's why I stated, you know, because of the fucking tip form that I've used. It takes it can take up to a month to use that, and I know that because that's how long it took me to get a response from the previous thing. So I told her, I understand it's been a week. It might take longer to hear back if we do. It's possible we won't hear back. That does not jive with your statement of you are going to choose the person with no support over the person with support. Yes, this caused a lot of screaming about Fursky. Um, then the Sappho stuff, like the priorities are way off here. Totally, totally. But okay, but I'm gonna add this. Okay, I don't, I don't care that they're yelling at Coyote Lovely. Do not care because Coyote Lovely is a person that is that is sound of mind, and they are a grown adult. I only care when they freaking abuse a mentally handicapped girl for four hours at a time. That's when I start to care. I don't give a fuck that they're yelling at this coyote lovely person. I'm just going to put that out there. Just a heads up. We'll listen. We'll listen to this further uh, a few more minutes and see what happens from here. That is part of the problem, coyote. You can sit there and say, if you had sat there and said, well, I thought I did everything I could. I really do. You know, we'd have a different conversation right now, but that's not what you actually said. And you can't even contest that because I quoted you verbatim. That's not what you said. And now it's, well, I'm not a cop. I'm not either, coyote. All right, I'm not either. That's great. Then you're a better man than I am. It's not about pet being better men. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to say at that point, though. Like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? I want to you know. Tell me. I want to know why. In what instance you say you Justine Martin says uh, about Rosa, she's very autistic, easily to be manipulated, and we also trust our friends. Uh, so if their friends are bad, it's going to take a while for to tell them that one they trust is a bad person yes you've done everything you could in the other instance you say you had to choose between two people and you chose the person who didn't have it as though you needed to make that choice the point is you didn't coyote that oh darth tara says don't you know uh making toys and vids and predator hunting is such a tough job i completely agree it's so silly that is so funny that's what i want you to understand you didn't have to make that choice i didn't say i needed to i said i did you, that does I said I did make that choice. Why? Because you didn't need to. Because the obligation I had to Persky was already fulfilled. The way that I saw it, if the cops were going to handle it, they were going to fucking handle it. If they weren't, they fucking weren't. And not only that, the fucking video that they gave me, there wasn't a lot I could do besides that. Because the fucking video contained admission from the person she had asked before. Um, we'll get, we'll get to the 26 minute mark. Okay. Me, that that person went ahead and doxed the person that she was fucking going against. What am I supposed to do at that point with that being my only evidence? What you do is you sit in a call and you walk her through how to make a police report to her local precinct. As I have done with multiple people. And not all of them do it. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Grizzly the Medic's probably still walking free because his victim refused to. That's what you do, Coyote. Because you know what? You'll travel with Monstrous all the way to Opal's house to pick her up and show her how to do a police report at a precinct. You already did it once. You already did it once. So that's what you do. Hello? And I'm you here. didn't do that. I did. I sat there and I did it with Opal. I, yeah, I didn't say I did that. Well, then I apologize for that misnomer, but the point is, the example was given to you. Yeah, hold on. I actually want to clarify. I actually never once claimed that I did that. I okay. did not. Okay, I, I accept that. I apologize for making that statement. But the point is, Coyote, if somebody changes a tire in front of you and you need to know how to change tires and you don't pay attention, that's on you. I understand. I'm clarifying that for Monstrous, though, because I know Monstrous was the person who did it. I never once took credit for that. Yeah, I'm I'm interested in who Monstrous was because they mentioned Monstrous again. The fact the the, the fact of what Lyra was saying is that your willingness to be able to go do something should lend credence to the fact that you half assed something and that you're willing to half ass something, which is exactly what you did. You half assed something in this case, in Fursky's case. And, and, I half assed something and I understand that. Yeah, but you know what, I don't Coyote? Know what else to say. The thing is, Coyote, I could understand that. 
if you're like overwhelmed with a whole bunch of crap. Trust me, if anybody here's king of freaking being busy, you're talking to him. But you weren't. And here's the thing about due diligence, since we're speaking of it. Not only did Die, your boyfriend, go in and make a mistake, which I understand you had nothing to do with, and you were very uh, direct with him in the administration chat in your server that he should not have. Do you know? Uh, Strawberry says once again that proves that Lyo didn't give a f uh, didn't give a fuck about uh, kids. The minute he doesn't like the kid at all, all of a sudden uh, they deserved to be doxxed or whatever. Strawberry, you make a good point right there. They uh they very much in invalidate victims at times. You know that Die is still friends with Zerkalo on Discord. Um, Gilded says turns turns out Monstrous had nothing to do with any of it. She joked about reforming pedos, thinking Coyote was joking too. If I recall that right. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. No. Well, now you do. Now you do know. Holy crap. You know, there's only so much. I oh, John, John further clarifying on Monstrous. She's an airhead uh, mod in the Senate. She absolutely loses her mind if anyone, especially a man, dares to have an opinion different from her. I can excuse of being foolish or not thinking things through. There genuinely is. And, you know, I tried, tried to be a little softer on people, right? Because I get told that I come off too hard on people. Maybe I need to cut people some slack. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't now. Cass has every right to be angry at you. And you can sit there and say mean things about SETI and pizza, and to a point, you're probably right in some cases. But, no. You sit there on Twitter for the past week having mudslinging competitions with these people. But then I'm it comes... I'm a fucking activist. That's, I'm tired of you... Like, look, I understand that I botch a lot of this shit, but for the most part, it's because I've been trying to be something I'm fucking not, because I'm not a fucking activist. I'm someone who makes videos laughing at people on the internet. It sounds like Coyote Lovely tried to be a commentary person after going after Hypnotist Sappho so hard. And it's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's hilarious to hear this. It's absolutely hilarious to hear this. That he just wanted to come onto the internet, make content, and laugh at people. Right. Okay. Whatever. I don't believe you. Then stay in your fucking lane you had fuck no I'm no stop no shut up you had no business doing this fucking op why you decided to do it is anybody's fucking business why why would you you knew it was retarded you knew you it's not an op guys he wanted to flirt with this creep no you have no impulse control and you fucking did it anyway and then you drag a bunch of people in and then we all got fucking dragged in the people who aren't even in the server got fucking dragged in we all got dragged in with your shit all of us, especially Lyle, who has gone to bat for you so many, many, many fucking times. All of us. And I want to, I want you to hear, well, I didn't know. I didn't know. Because it happens every fucking time. Every fucking time. Every time. This server got dragged into your shit for no fucking reason. Because you didn't think it through. You didn't think it through. Fucking think it through. Like you fucking should have from the very fucking beginning. You know better. And you did it anyway. And let's go ahead and address... Some... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. No, go ahead. Let's go ahead and address the impulse thing. You know, I can understand having impulse control problems. You're talking to a toy collector. Of course I know impulse control problems. But you know what the... Bro! Yeah, you got some bad impro impulse control problems. Maybe it's almost like you should grow the fuck up, Lyo. The difference is, an impulse control is something that happens in a minute. Well, maybe not one minute, but it can, it can go on for hours, perhaps. Two months. You had impulse control problems for two months. You didn't at any point reflect and say, you know what? Actually, no, you did. You did reflect on how it would look bad on you. That's why you redact Deb the logs. Because you knew Sappho could use it against you. Now, use it against you perhaps not in saying, well, Coyote clearly has a thing for me. Ha ha. But more so in the sense of, holy crap, this would look really bad if it got out. And it should not have taken me sending you a link to figure out how to recover those logs. You should have figured that out the moment people started calling you on it and you realized how bad it looked. That's what you should have done. And then, could be go ahead. I didn't know they even could be recovered after the redaction. You didn't even look into it, Coyote! Fair enough. You know, fine, fine. And then, th let's go ahead and trace this back. Let's go all the way back. I can't talk about Bloomia because I don't know everything about that clown either. All I know is this. If somebody in your circle has heavy accusations against them, in your circle, your circle, and Bloomia was, you have an obligation to yourself, if nobody else, to look into it. 
I tried to do that to you, Forza Kahlo. The thread was a complete mess, so unfortunately I couldn't do it as well as I wanted to. So I tried to have that call. And Zakalo sidestepped everything I said. Sidestepped all that nonsense. Sidestepped talking about it. Sidestepped talking about what they'd done. Why the farm's threat existed. All of that. So it's interesting. It's interesting that um, Lyo is saying, well, Zarkalo sidestepped all this stuff. I tried getting this stuff addressed with you in a call with Zarkalo, Zarkalo right? Yet you still hung around Coyote Lovely even after how bad that Zarkalo call got. Did you catch it, Leah? I don't think I did. Did I miss it? Let me rewind it. Are you, are you talking about the toy part, the impulse control? If somebody in your circle has heavy accusation against them, in your circle, your circle, and believe me it was, you have an obligation to yourself, if nobody else, to look into it. Oh, see, I do. Yeah, that's the tell all right there. If somebody in your circle has, let me direct quote him. I don't want to fuck this up. They even could be recovered after the redaction. You didn't even look into it, Coyote. Fair enough. No, fine, fine. And then th let's go ahead and trace this back. Let's go all the way back. I can't talk about Bloomier because I don't know everything about that clown either. All I know is this. If okay, let me reiterate this. You don't have to know everything about Bloomier. It the the evidence was so prevalent, so prevalent, so freaking prevalent on that. Are you serious? Somebody in your circle has heavy accusations against them. In your circle. If somebody in your circle has he heavy accusations against them... Your circle, and believe me it was, you have an obligation to yourself, if nobody else, to look into it. You have an obligation to yourself, if anybody else, nobody else, to look into it. That's the tell-all right there. You had the SC FCK, sir. You had the SCK logs, Lyo. None of this should be a surprise to you. You should have looked into it. And not only that, not only that, you criticized Crystal Flame. You criticized Crystal Flame for looking into it, for doing the same thing that you are telling Coyote Lovely to do. Are you kidding me? Crystal Flame ha did her due diligence. Crystal Flame did her disavowal thread. But instead... You got to go and protect your son, now your son. Got to go protect your son, your adopted son, whom of which is a grown adult in, in the UK or wherever the fuck they live. You had to protect them instead of looking into it themselves and disavowing. You've yet to disavow hopeless speeches. Not only that, you're more than happy to play guilt by association with me, with Enla, with Gilded, with Akumo, with Akumu, Kumo, with Akumu. You and your little twink secretary, Zach, whatever you like to call him in your Discord, you like to do guilt by association. Well, guess what, Lyo? I can do the same thing. You associated with Coyote Lovely a person that fucking flirted with a zoophile and a pet and a zoophile and a pedophile. I'm just going to say that pedophile too. They lived with Zarcarlo, somebody you also associated with. You associated with Sasu Frasu. You want to get upset because Sasu Frasu's in Crystal Flames chat. You fucking associated with him. He harassed women in your Discord. He harassed a woman in your Discord. He stalked a woman in your Discord. It took you kicking him out. You associated with that. Are you kidding me? You associated with, with Vita. You are in no position to play these guilt by association tactics. So I highly suggest, highly suggest, go look in the mirror, point at yourself and blame yourself for this, in, this entire thing. This entire thing is on, on you. Tell your twink secretary, Zach,
to shut, sit down and shut the fuck up. They don't know what they're fuck, what the fuck they're talking about. Tell the mods in the Senate Discord to sit down and shut the fuck up because they don't know what they're talking about. And I guarantee you, let me guarantee you this, Lyo Convoy, the second somebody from your Discord slips up, I'm going to be on them. I'm going to jump down their throat. So go ahead. Keep playing these drama games because it's going to get you nowhere. It's absolutely getting you nowhere. You are further digging your own grave, Lyo Convoy. This is ridiculous. Thank you.